Hey folks, TNT me out here. Well, I'm coming back with you. Uh, something about the 180QX. Uh, by the way, mine's been flying well. Haven't had no issues out of it. Thank you, Jesus. Um, this quad has been doing very well. A couple flips, rose loops, took it to an indoor fly in, had fun. They actually did some polecat racing with it, and it did pretty good. Um, very stable, very locked in. Um, but this is going to be a tutorial on how to calibrate your 180QX. Like I said, mine was flying well. I didn't have no issues out of it. But on the internet and a couple of YouTube videos and on Heli Freak, noticing that people saying that they quad, whenever they pick the quad, they want to bear, they want to bear hard right. Meaning tail end to you, orange blades up front, it wants to bear hard right. So, call Horizon and Horizon will let you know, will walk you through how to calibrate the uh, quad. They haven't released it yet on as a, in the manual. So I guess they're trying to make sure everything's working well. But uh, according to a few people on the posters, that this calibration um, works. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do, what you want to do is make sure all your trims is centered on your transmitter. So what I'm going to do is turn the transmitter on. And I'm going to go out of my system so my clock won't start up. And you're going to go full throttle. We're going to plug the battery halfway in, but not connected. So we're going to plug the battery. You're going to plug the battery halfway in, but not connected. So just enough where it's inside the slot. Because this next part, next part is going to be tricky. So what you have to do is go full down elevator, which, pull, which means for the new guys, if you don't know what down elevator is, that means the nose go forward and it's pointing the nose down. So what you want to do is go full down down elevator, meaning taking the stick, the right stick all the way up, plug in the battery in with your other hand, and you'll see the lights go, you'll see the lights flashing, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. So you want to hold this position until uh, it'll go a solid blue, and then it'll flash a red, meaning the calibration is done. And once the caliber, once it once it does that, you want to let go of the right stick, the right elevator stick. Um, it's take about 15 to 25 seconds to do this. Let it go, let it go back to center, and bring the throttle all the way back down. Um, then <clears throat> what you want to do is. Uh, Cut it off. I find it better if you cut it off so it makes sure it done what it had to do. Cut the quad off, turn the radio off, turn the radio back on, cut the quad on, and then the hard drift should be out of there. Alright, so there it is. It's blinking a blue. It's blinking blue and it's blinking red. So you pull the sticks all the way down. See it blinking blue and blinking red. So that means calibration is done. So what you want to do is unplug it. Turn the radio off. Turn the transmitter back on. And from here you want to fly. It. And it should take the, the hard right out. Now you might have to do. Let's unplug it and get it back in. Might have to do a little bit of trimming. Alright, right. you might have to do a little bit of trimming when you get ready to fly. So what we do, we use trim stick. We use the trim here. Use the trims. Don't use sub trims on the quads because what you do when you take the quad, use the sub trim on the quad. You take it away from one and add it to another one. So the quad might not perform as well. It'll still fly, but it might not perform as well. You might can hear one motor spin up faster than the other motor. So what I want to do now, I'm going to take it up. And I'm going to fly it, so I'm going to turn the camera away. And I'm going to point it in this direction. 
and I'm going to try to trim it out. I'm going to take it off, take off, and I'm going to try to trim it out. So I'm going to see which way that is wanting to go. Right now, it's pretty stable, so it wanting to go forward on me. So I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to trim it till it gets steady. That's pretty, that's pretty well stable right there. Still want to go forward a little bit. Just a little bit. But that's pretty, that's pretty well stable right there. That's, that's pretty well stable. So it's sitting where I want it to sit at. You know, then I'm just doing mostly. So it's pretty well stable. I'm just controlling the throttle right now. It's not wanting to hit my, my Christmas tree. I mean, that's hands off, folks. And it's sitting in between my Christmas tree. So it's. Like I said, it's pretty well stable right there. Right now I'm just controlling throttle. Might want to have I might have to put a little bit of right in it, but okay, I'll put one click of right in it. But, like I said, I mean, that's pretty much staying where I want to put it at. Like I said, I'm controlling the throttle so it won't go too high up. I took the trim back out, the right trim. So, like I said, that's pretty much well stable right there. So, I'm just controlling the throttle. That's pretty well stable, folks. I mean, you can't get no better than that. And this is using the, the trims right here beside the stick. No sub trims. So like I said, it's pretty well stable. That's pretty good right there. Can't ask for no better than that. Well, like I said, I'm pretty much in trying to control the throttle and everything. So this, you know, it's doing pretty good. It's pretty doggone good. Almost like it got GPS on it, but we know it don't. But like I said, it's pretty doggone good right there. And like I said, I'm controlling the throttle. Put a little bit of right trim in it back again like he wanted I think it's just a little bit of interference with the tree and the wind blowing off the tree and blowing off the wall and the ground so I say it's pretty doggone good alright folks so just wanted to show you that I mean you can't ask for better than that pretty rock solid table Alright, I'm bringing it in for a landing. So I brought it in for a landing. And like I said, I just want to show y'all, show y'all that. Alright, as I always say, God is good all the time. TNT out.